What was your school's huge scandal? A geography teacher caught a history teacher banging his wife in the school library. The history teacher was his best man at the wedding. Also. A pay teacher threw a janitor through a door during class. It is regarded as one of the best schools in my country. I went to S Catholic high school. During my first year there somebody took a shti in the middle of the corridor on the third floor. They never found out who's done it. Boys Dean got caught with a girl in his office. She was 17. It's the reason that office now has a window in the door. Principal had an affair with my AP Chem teacher. The school board came down hard on the teacher. And she was suspended for most of the year. Which sucked because none of us passed the test. Principal got a slap on the wrist. Though he ended up quitting at the end of the year. The gym was called The Rock. Showed up one morning and the R was replaced with a C. This was on a huge gym so it took some time to take down. My high school was the one where the mother was so upset that her daughter got passed over for the cheerleading team that she hired a hitman to kill the rival girl and her mother. HBO made a movie out of it starring Holly Hunter and Bo Bridges. The Fizz. Ed. Teacher basketball coach, M, began an affair with the English teacher, F, his first year as coach. She left her husband. He only lasted one year. Another English teacher left her husband. The metal shop teacher. For the girls fizz. Ed. Teacher, F. They moved in together just down the street from where I lived. An 11th grade student, M, got the algebra teacher pregnant. Mind you. This all happened in the same year. Oh. Those gloriously wicked 70s. Someone found an empty lube container in a couch in a classroom that was generally open. They got rid of the couch. You can't drive that in here. Yes I can. My senior year. The chaplain at the Christian school I attended suddenly resigned at the end of the year. Claiming he felt called by God to go do something else. He then completely disappeared off social media. And some students even made a Facebook group called Where in the Hell is his name? A couple years later. I found out he apparently had sx with a 16 year old student on a mission trip. And was asked to resign to save face. 7th grader trading sx for heroin. We had a ban on bringing our own bottles to school and could only purchase drinks from the school store because there was an alcohol problem. Kids would come to school with pretty much anything they could get their hands on and would start drinking in first period. One day. Before the ban. They did a sweep in first period and had everyone open their water bottles and check what was inside. I think there were over 50 kids caught that day. We also had a problem with opioids. Ambulances were there at least twice a year to get someone that overdosed in the gym. Update. I guess this is one since it made the regional news. Was that a French teacher had a vocabulary test where you would stand by the closed classroom door and he would quiz you on the repeated French vocabulary errors you made. If made the mistake again he would lightly underhand toss a volleyball at the back of your head. A student had recorded on their phone and once a parent found out they went straight to the news. I know my mom started freaking out and my older brother said yes he remembers it and it apparently improved vocabulary and grammar. <laughs> Happened last year. But it's still a pretty hot topic. This girl was rushed to the hospital during school with multiple stab wounds. She was found in the washroom and the whole school went on full lockdown. She said her ex-boyfriend did it. And he was questioned by the police. But. Here's the kicker. He wasn't at school that week. There's no way he could have done it. So they take the knife and run fingerprints. Boom. Clear as day. The victim's fingerprints. She had stabbed herself and blamed it on her ex. She ended up coming clean. And she got in a metric duct and of trouble. She stopped going to our school after that. And I haven't heard anything from her. But there's a bunch of rumors flying. IDK if this counts but two students at my school made a SX tape and the video spread like crazy. Everyone watched it and some people would watch it at school with friends like WTF. 
The teachers had to keep telling students that it was illegal to have the video and if we got caught sending it to others we'd be in serious trouble. There was some teacher visiting our school who thought it was a smart plan to educate kids, 151617-ish, on drugs. It was actually a smart plan. Except for that he took a suitcase with the actual drugs with him. I don't know the full story because I didn't attend that lecture. What I do know though, is that a bag of actual cocaine was stolen from that suitcase. There was a whole manhunt going on for the person who had stolen it. But they never found who stole it or the cocaine. I will now proceed to snort this cocaine to show you how bad it is. Oh so many. There was a race war for a bit between the Hmong students and rednecks to the point school got cancelled one day a fight was going to happen. A match teacher married a former student and athlete he coached soon after she turned 18. A kid drove his car through the wall in the cafeteria. A mysterious fire started and killed all the animals in the animal science classroom. We couldn't wear coats but the classrooms were in the low 60s during the winter. After all the classrooms were using colder towels to trick the thermostat. They let us wear coats. I mean I don't know if this counts but one of our prefects got caught drinking. In a bar. Legally. In regular clothes. I know. How could he? And because of that the school took away his badge and so in protest all our prefects lined up in front of the principal's office and handed in their badges. It was chaos. A contest of chicken between the school and the student leaders and in the end the school blinked first and gave everyone back their badges. Edit. Ha. This did a bit better than I was expecting. In the space of three years. My former high school in a very wealthy. White. And rural area churned out the scandals. 1. The 60 years old pay teacher was arrested for a whistle relationship with a 15 year old. Served 5 years in prison. He was caught physically mailing nude photos of himself to an underage student's house. Which the student's parents intercepted. 2. The history teacher was arrested when a cop pulled him and one of his students over. Found drugs in the car and they were both high. Turns out he was supplying coke to students. He had to serve a decent chunk of time. After a snowfall I quickly gathered my squad of friends and made boulder sized snowballs. Then we placed them so if you looked out from the upper windows it was a big penis. Even got two teachers to help who just wanted to connect with us. They didn't realize what they had assisted with until the entire teacher faculty poured out from the building like angry wasps. Guy got blown by his GF in the floor of the biology section. Both 16-17. The floor was completely surrounded by glass. Even the top. You could see everything in it from every direction. There was just no place to hide. Our new high-tech library with fancy full glass front was like 5 meters in front of it. So someone eventually saw it. Semicolon. Didn't got into much trouble. Though. Since this happened in probably the most liberal area in Germany. Our head, not a hick, of biology just gave them a VIP talk about the bees and birds. And some condoms. We know. Dumbass. Why do you think she was blowing me? At our high school a dude was caught wanking in the back of class. Multiple times. And then a school nearby had a student kill themselves in the commons on the day of their football matchup versus us. The game was supposed to be at their school but they moved it to ours because of all the police stuff. We were on an undefeated season and weren't gonna lose. But we all felt really bad about winning. There were a couple of kids from our school that made jokes that the other student killed himself because he was afraid of facing our football team. Needless to say. They were quickly sorted out. A male drama teacher was about 30 or a little older and he would flirt with girls and make them like them and it worked. The young girls all talked about him. He would ask certain girls to stay after class and would have sx with them and record it. They found lots of the tapes in the trunk of his car. We legitimately had 21 Jump Street at my school. Two undercover cops, a guy with a mohawk and a normally looking girl, went to the high school with us for an entire school year. And at the end of the year arrested over 20 kids and drug related charges. One of my friends got arrested, 16, 
for introducing one of the cops to a dealer. Called himself a broker lol. That's so strange. Some kids climbed on the roof and a boy sprayed just one kiss. On the side of the building in big letters cause he was an unrequited love. The school board thought it was a courageous gesture and left it up. For years. Possibly forever. Cause it was up for the entire 6 years I went to school there. How much will it cost us to paint over that? Thousands of dollars sir. Maybe even tens of thousands. What a courageous gesture this boy has made. A girl killed herself. And school tried hiding it. My middle school once did a presentation on suicide after a student committed it. It was nothing but ads for merch and fundraisers. The kid wasn't even mentioned in it. Our principal's son was mentally ill. One night. They were all gathered in the school office. Son comes in with a grenade in his hand because of family issues. Police were called and only two police officers arrived. After police 1 and 2 arrive. Some more policemen came by. The late policeman wrongly identified police 1 and shot him. Mistakenly thinking he was the mentally ill son with the grenade. Police 1 happens to be a father of two children. Those two study in our school. Police 1 is dead now because of blood loss and the mentally ill son is now in jail. Those two kids get free tuition from the school since they effed up big time. Sorry your dad died. Help yourself to the salad bar doesn't quite seem to cut it really. Take your pick. The music teacher, BJ Jones, killed himself after being arrested for being a pedo. A kid killed his dad with a hammer. This was like a year or two after Columbine. One kid that was smart. AP classes. Band and overall nerd with a bright future decided to do a Dumbus bomb threat. He wrote on a piece of paper bomb in room and put it against the window. Ruined his life. Saw him years later and he was working min wage or maybe slightly over. Didn't graduate high school and was working on his ged. For my senior year we had a freshman that knocked up multiple girls. They took him on Mori and he was the father. After the school closed down a bunch of students came out saying the English teacher and her husband frequently s sorely assaulted students. Both male and female. A letter was written to the prosecutor's office and everything. There's been countless stories that have come out about it. Guy and his girlfriend lure a 10th grader to the school after hours. They are on acid and pretend to be natural born killers and hold her down and stab her 11 times. My friend finds her body opening the window in math class the morning after. This was 25 years ago and she is out of jail and back around the community. The guy is still in jail I believe. We had a guy that would go into the bathrooms and smear his poop all over the walls and jerk off on all of the toilet paper. He'd destroy any bathroom that he went into and we wouldn't be able to use it for a couple of days. Our principal would get on the loudspeakers at school and announce that the poop traitor has struck again and tell us what bathroom not to use. This lasted for about 3 weeks. It was a 6 feet 7 goth of a giant probably weighing 350 plus pounds. He finally got caught in the act and had a chase through the entire school. Running through the lunch room. Down to the gym. Just knocking anybody over who tried to get in his way. The football coach was finally able to tackle him after he sprinted through the school with shti on his hands for 15 plus mins. One of the teachers thought she was all that. And used to go out clubbing every weekend alongside many of the students from the school sixth form, UK. Age 17-18. Suddenly one week she started giving everyone the cold shoulder. Turned out she'd had a screaming fit at the club that weekend when she found her boyfriend snogging one of her students. Not sure if anyone remembers this on the news about 5 years ago, UK teacher was real life breaking bad. Meth lab in the basement claiming it was a friend's. A history teacher was caught pleasuring himself under his desk to a class full of sixth formers. Welsh teacher was selling weed out of her classroom too. We had a girl break up with a guy. He and his friends then plotted to murder her. Had the entire plan laid out. Right down to the name of the project. A couple of his friends backed out and when the third one tried to back out he was allegedly threatened by the guy who had his heart broken. 
they followed the girl back to her home that was no less than 2-3 blocks from the school in January 2014. The guy had his friend stand watch while he entered her home and stabbed her to death. It was a crazy 9th grade that's for sure. When our headmaster who'd pretty much started our private school from scratch 25 years earlier. Was arrested for embezzlement. The way they explained it was the red and some disorganization and the paperwork however our headmaster taught the advanced math class. So there's no way he would mess up the numbers on his paperwork consistently. At least not without actively trying to. Our high school biology teacher was recently arrested for solicitation of a minor. He DM'd her saying that he needed her body. It was super creepy. In middle school. We had some rumors spread around that a certain gym teacher, MRS. J, was peeping on girls undressing. These rumors spread and got pretty vicious. People started saying that MRS. J tried to get girls alone in the locker room and had a type that she'd go after. We had a school-wide assembly where the principal berated the students for spreading these unsubstantiated rumors and how hurtful and disrespectful it was to MRS. J and our teachers. Two years later. MRS. J was arrested for molesting three girls a year alone. Many other former students came out about similar experiences. Some dating back 15 plus years prior to her arrest. Edit. Clarification. Edit 2. Stop asking if this was in your state city. I'm not telling you. The 3x teacher of the year winner at my elementary school got caught putting a camera in the women's faculty bathroom. In high school. Our principal was extremely selective with who got punished for violating dress code. If you were a cheerleader or played volleyball. You were immune no matter what you wore. If you were anybody else you'd get punished. After multiple girls were literally ambushed by teachers in the hallway and given suspensions. The school revolted. Everybody started to wear girls Nike shorts. And I mean everybody. Including the football team. It went on for about a week and made local news before the school amended the dress code policy. Stuff football player was caught getting a blowjob from a freshman. In his dad's classroom. He was still able to participate in the next game. I went to a Catholic school. My 6th grade homeroom teacher was a guy in his late 40s early 50s. Classmates once told me they saw him looking at my ass. The next year we got a letter in the mail saying he was arrested for trying to meet up with an underage girl he was talking to online. Sad part was he was married and had two daughters around that age. Not a scandal per se. But it turned out that our all weather pitch was built on a famine pit. The school was built on the grounds of a famine workhouse. So whoops. But they just put up a monument and continued to use the pitch. Oh. Actually. One of the geography teachers locked a student in a cupboard for the duration of his class as punishment for something. And the real scandal is that nothing happened to the teacher. He was truly awful. I had him for 3 years and he used to smoke cigars out the window and play poker with some of the students. I wish I was joking. But it's almost impossible to fire a teacher. High school assistant coach fooled around with the goalie on the girls soccer team. Source. Was the goalie on the girls soccer team. Girl got super drunk at a party and someone videoed guys arping her. Spread via bluetooth. Two guys hacked into our grade system and emailed out everyone's class rank and GPA. Two of my old classmates are technically terrorists. We were on a school trip to Christiansborg. Which is where all of the elected politicians of Denmark sit and do their jobs. Before we could enter we had to go through a metal detector. Turns out two of my classmates had brought knives. And one of them was in illegal. A guy from another class brought a bag full of nitrous oxide, laughing gas, canister. The police was called. But they ended up not really doing anything. The guys with the knives got suspended for a couple days. And the guy with the bag of canisters got expelled. Since it wasn't exactly his first time being reprimanded by the principal. In middle school. We had this older male teacher. He was known for being a photographer in his free time. 
but there were rumors that he also made some naked pictures of women girls. According to older grades. He once asked a girl in the school if she was down to make some spicy pictures. IDK if this actually happened. But the same teacher was suspended for two years, due to personal reasons or SMTH, according to the older students. I had biology with him in 8th grade and the dude was really kind and friendly. In my school. Our high school band teacher had a secret affair with one of the students and it wasn't found out about until the year after she graduated. They spent a lot of energy investigating when exactly their relationship started. A lot of us in band and orchestra were aware something was going on her senior year. But it was a shock to the community when he was put on leave and the news broke. He had also dated his son Pryor who attended the same school and was in my grade. It was very painful for him. I think they got married. But he's still a predator in my book. Haven't kept up with it since. There was an industrial arts teacher who ran a club for the guys who built sets for school plays. Part of joining the club was an initiation where you had to run down this particular hallway naked. The hallway had doors at both ends so it could be closed off for the initiation and it wouldn't be seen by casual passers-by. The teacher was secretly videotaping these initiations. And eventually someone found out about it. The teacher was definitely fired. But I don't remember if any criminal charges were brought against him. Catholic High School. Small Town Ohio. High school wrestling coach and history teacher, male, secretly nailing students, female, while using peddling cocaine to staff and students alike. Basketball coach indicted for embezzling escrow funds from his real estate and title firm for betting in Atlantic City. Moved to CA. High school chem teacher busted. Was major Norkel LSD producer. Meth. But it broke into the news a couple years after I graduated. It was absolutely hilarious, the students all knew about how many kids were on it. We didn't even pretend to keep it secret. But nobody gave a shti right up until some rich kid OD'd. Several poor redneck kids had been shot. But nobody cared. Comma then everyone lost their ducking minds. Howling and wailing how could we have known. Comma. As if we hadn't been telling them for years. One of my classmates burned the school down right before winter break our senior year. Didn't really matter to me since I was graduating early anyhow. The finals I'd already taken counted as extra credit. Two elementary age kids got in a fight on the school bus. The dad of one went to the waffle house and shot the other dad. A teacher had an affair with one, or more, his underage students. Happened twice. Two different schools. Two different teachers.